Hi guys. Okay, here it is how I make the rice bakri, but this is what I follow. Now I've already added one cup of uh, water. I added about two teaspoons of uh, oil and little salt for taste. And you have to add rice flour exactly the size of what it was for the water. So this is what I'm adding. It is like the water is boiling. Just add the flour. Turn off the heat. Give it a gentle mix. And just cover and keep it for like five minutes. All right, guys. Now I've taken this the flour out of the the pot. Now see, it is very hot to handle. So what I do is I use something like this, a glass or bowl or something. Just press it down. So what happens is it becomes easier to handle it. Just keep some water handy oil and some flour okay now this is what it is okay now let's start kneading it's still manageable it can be handled The trick here is to make the dough absolutely very smooth so that you know once you make it smooth that's when the edges won't break. The dough is still a little warm because once it gets cold then you cannot make it smooth. Just dip your finger also in a little bit of oil and then knead it. Yeah, the audio would not be very clear but I will see when I am doing the editing I would know because I don't have a microphone yet so you will hear a lot of noises from around. Thankfully the cats are not speaking yet. They are sleeping. See even the fingers, it had all the flour, it's all come together. Sorry about that noise. It starts getting a little sticky. Just grease your fingers and work on the dough. Okay, now the dough is done, it is soft. Now let it rest for like 5 minutes approximately and then we can start to roll it. 
now let's roll now I make little smaller disk is because uh, you know the container I'm storing it's a smaller one so take a I mean I'm taking a ball of this size roll it well it becomes more soft huh? when you do this press a little bit make sure the edges are not broken dip into flour the dry flour and then roll it what I do is I try to roll it from the edges first so it becomes a little you know thin at the edges and uh, you know the center would not break in this case when you are flipping it if it's getting too dry just add a little bit of flour I know there are people who make it with raw flour now I cannot handle it so this is the easiest way I could make my rotis of course this is not invented by me but it many people do this place a griddle on heat while you finish rolling one of it I didn't get a perfect round but it is thin this thin now let's bake it now the tawa is heated well I'm just going to put the on it and let it roast it actually roast pretty uh, quick I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to zoom. Okay. The color will change, and you know that it is cooking from uh, the other side. Flip it over. It will start to puff. There you go. It's puffing a bit. well it will puff really nice roast it you know the importance is to get those spots I mean that's what I feel you know then that's when I know that it is cooked very well yeah okay, I'm done making it took a lot of time you can see they are still nice and hot and soft just keep it like this until you want to eat